Hello everyone, my name is Peter Pervost and I'm the data manager at the Ocean Biodiversity Information System, OBIS. In this presentation, I will give a very short overview of our data standards and how they relate to image-free data. OBIS is not just a data system, uh, it's first and foremost a community of practice. Our network uh, currently consists of over 30 regional and thematic nodes who are all publishing uh, marine biodiversity data. Our goal is to promote uh, fair data in marine biodiversity research. So this means, for example, that our data are uh, open, that they are uh, published using community standards, and that we are making use of vocabularies as much as possible. For data standards, we are collaborating with Biodiversity Data Standards, Stadwick, and the Global Biodiversity Information uh, Facility, GBIF. This is a very high level uh, overview of uh, how the OBIS network operates. So each of our uh, regional and thematic nodes uh, will have a integrated publishing toolkit or IPT server where they can uh, upload uh, data from a variety of sources and align it with our data standards. We will then ingest uh, the data from all these uh, IPT servers uh, into our central database and make it available uh, using our web services. Uh, these web services then uh, drive the portal, the mapper, uh, the R package, and so on. Our main data standard is uh, the Darwin Core. So Darwin Core is managed by uh, Tadwick, and it includes uh, a glossary of terms. Uh, it inclu also includes uh, guidelines for sharing Darwin Core aligned data as uh, text, uh, XML, or RDF, and it includes some uh, vocabularies. So the glossary of terms includes uh, over 200 uh, terms, which each have a identifier, a definition, and uh, some examples of how they can be used. The file format that we use for sharing Darwin Core line data is the Darwin Core archive. And the Darwin Core archive is basically a zip file that contains uh, an archive descriptor, which is an XML, uh, XML file describing all the resources uh, in the archive. It also contains an EML metadata document, and then it contains uh, one or more uh, data files. Um, these data files uh, always include a core file and then optionally uh, one or more uh, extension files. Uh, the records in these extension files have a many-to-one relationship with the core records. The composition of uh, each of these core and extension files uh, is managed by the, the GBIF community. So there are uh, several options for including uh, image metadata in, uh, in biodiversity data records. One of them is a field called associated media in the uh, occurrence core. So uh, that's a single field that contains uh, a, a reference to an image that is hosted somewhere uh, online. So this is another example. Uh, so in this case, uh, the image is not hosted by the data provider itself, but it's hosted on, uh, on Flickr. So OBIS itself will never ingest or host uh, uh, images or uh, video files, but we will link from, uh, from the occurrence records to the, uh, the online resources. Another option is to make use of a, a dedicated uh, uh, extension, for example, uh, the simple multimedia extension. And so in this case, you don't have a single uh, uh, field uh, for your image metadata, but you have a, a, a complete set of fields, including uh, the image type, uh, a link to the, the resource, a title, description, uh, the image format, uh, and so on. Another option is the Audubon Media Description extension, which is based on the Audubon Core uh, standard. Um, this is uh, somewhat similar to the simple multimedia extension, but it has a lot more uh, fields. And more importantly, there are uh, two proposals to add terms to the Audubon uh, extension. 
uh, which are very relevant for uh, video annotation. So uh, first uh, proposal is to add a term to define a spatial uh, region within a media item. So this, uh, for example, uh, could be very helpful when you want to uh, highlight an organism in a, in a video frame. And the second proposal is to add a term uh, to define a temporal region of interest, which is uh, very useful if you want to uh, uh, point to a uh, time range in a, in a video file. So in that case, you would link to the complete video file, but you can, uh, for each occurrence, you can uh, point to a specific uh, frame and a specific region within that frame. That's all from my side. Thank you for listening. Thank <music> you.